And it is especially great to be here today celebrating Kalamazoo Pride. Um, let me let me say uh, a few things. You know, throughout the course of, of my career and the work that I've done uh, as an advocate for the LGBTQ community, it was really always the same thing, and it was really uh, fighting for equality, fighting for equal rights in court, and having to rely on what you hope to be friendly courts, courts that believed uh, in due process and, and equal protection under the law and all the things that would allow us to sometimes, not always, but sometimes win cases um, uh, under, under constitutional precepts. And the reason we had to do that is because we did not have any state laws of any kind whatsoever that protected the LGBTQ community. And whether that was marriage or adoption or uh, protection against hate crimes or employment, housing, education, public accommodations. We had none of those things. Uh, but at long last now, we have both a, a governor in Governor Whitmer, who is one of the best allies that the community has ever had. And we have a state house and a state senate that just a matter of me trying to fight it out in the courts. It's a matter of actually getting legislation in place that specifically, in black and white, protects the community. And whether we're talking about the amending of Elliot Larson to specifically include sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression, which occurred earlier on this year. Thank you, Senator McCann, for being legislation that I'm testifying on before the House on Tuesday, that it would expand the definition of hate crimes to include sexual orientation and gender identity. <laughs> Whether it has to do with the conversion therapy bills that are pending in the Senate, uh, supported by Senator McCann and many others, um, that would, at long last, if passed, stop um, the, the very psychologically damaging um, process uh, of, of, you know, treating children in a way where we tell them that they're not good enough uh, and if they don't change, that they're going to hell. Those are just the first of many types of bills so that we can ensure that Michigan is a state that accepts everyone, that values everyone, and where everyone belongs. Woo!